Here is your latest African news. Africa wide, World Oceans Day. What must African oceans do to clean up? Today marks World Oceans Day, a day to inform the public of the impact of human actions on our beautiful oceans. According to the United Nations, World Oceans Day reminds everyone of the major role the oceans have in our everyday lives. Africa is no stranger to man-made disasters in its oceans. In August 2020, the pristine coast in Mauritius turned black after a major oil spill caused by a Japanese ship that ran aground. Tens of thousands of people kindly volunteered for the cleanup and more than 50 whales and dolphins washed up dead on the island's shores. But oil spills are not the only concern for Africa's oceans. Pollution, overfishing by Africans and other foreign countries, depletion of our coral reefs are also still a major concern. To protect and to preserve the ocean and all it sustains, we must, we must create a new balance rooted in the true understanding of the ocean and how humanity, you and I, relate to it. CAR, France suspends military support to Central African Republic because of anti-French sentiments. France suspended its military cooperation and budgetary aid to the Central African government, terming the Central African Republic complicit in an anti-French campaign. The French military ministry said that it considered the Central African state as complicit in a Russian-led anti-French campaign. The military training provided to the Central African armed forces by troops stationed in Gabon has also been suspended. Russia has wielded increasing influence in CAR since 2018 when it sent weapons and a large contingent of instructors to train the Central, Central African Army. Numerous witnesses and NGOs say the instructors are in fact paramilitaries from the Wagner Group, a shadowy private military company actively participating in the fight against CAR rebels alongside Rwandan special forces and UN peacekeepers. Rwanda. Rwanda opens first gold refinery. Rwanda has opened its first gold refinery to process gold from all over Africa and to discourage the export of the mineral from the continent. The new refinery, built at a cost of $5 million by Aldango Company, is located at the Kigali Special Economic Zone in Gasabo District. Rwanda's Minister of Trade and Industry, Soraya Hakuzia Remie, stated in the refinery is all stated that the refinery is to showcase that the continent can add value to raw materials and investments that it has made. The new facility has a capacity to refine six tons of gold per month or 220 kilograms a day. And officials of the company said they were working to expand its capacity as the demand increases. The company's initiative is to buy gold from all over Africa and process it to get 99.99% of quality. It says that it already has access to the international market. Exciting stuff. DRC, state-owned diamond company, MIBA, hopes to rebound. The city of Mbujimai, the capital of Kasai Oriental province in South Central DRC, is once, ho once home to the country's state diamond company, MIBA, the Bakwanga Mining Company. Poor management, crumbling infrastructure, embezzlement and looting, especially during the two great Congo wars between 1997 and 2003, left MIBA crippled by debt at the mercy of plummeting commodity prices. The facility was closed at the height of the 2008 financial crisis. Despite a resumption of operations a decade ago, the company is still a shadow of its former glory. The mine is operational, exploitation is underway but at a minimal level. But there are still hopes of revival as $5 million was released in August last year by President Felix Tshisekedi who hails from the Kasai region. East Africa, Kenya offers to support Sudan's transition to democracy.
Kenya has offered to help Sudan's reforms for government institutions as the country emerges from years of conflict and isolation. Kenya's Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Rachel Omamo, says Nairobi is willing to support Khartoum's broad-based reform needed to move the country from the transition stage to a democracy. Ms. Omamo was in Khartoum on Saturday and Sunday where she delivered President Uhuru Kenyatta's goodwill message to Sudanese Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok. She also met Sudanese Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation Dr. Mariam Al Mahdi where they discussed new relations for an emerging Sudan. West Africa underwater avalanche continued for two whole days. Scientists are reporting what they say is the longest sediment avalanche yet measured in action. It occurred underwater off West Africa in a deep canyon leading away from the mouth of the Congo River. Something in excess of a cubic kilometer of sand and mud descended into the deep. This colossal flow kept moving for two whole days and ran out for more than 1.100 kilometers across the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. The event would have gone unrecorded were it not for the fact that the slide broke two submarine telecommunications cables, slowing the internet and other data traffic between Nigeria and South Africa in the process. Nigeria. Nigeria's Twitter ban. Government orders prosecution of violators. Nigeria will prosecute anyone found to have breached the country's ban on the social media firm Twitter. The government announced on Friday it was suspending Twitter's operations in the country. Mobile phone networks blocked access after being ordered to do so, but some users are getting around with the ban. The move continues after comes after Twitter deleted a tweet by President Muhammadi Buhari for breaching the site's rules. There has been a litany of problems with the social media platform in Nigeria, where misinformation and fake news spread through it um, have had real world violent consequences, the government said. Twitter said the announcement of a ban on Friday by Information Minister Lai Mohamed was deeply, deeply concerning. Thank you so, so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tuna Cheki to watch our weekly news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all the latest African news updates. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.